making this video because a lot of us are going on a really cool sailing trip um, for a week and we start from Newport, Rhode Island. We go to Falmouth, then we go to Hyannis, and then from Hyannis we do the Figawe sailboat race in Nantucket. This is actually 20 years ago in 1996 and kind of a special program because um, you know, here we are. There's Bruce Johansson, there's Paul Tatro, and there's myself and all of the other winning skippers in 1995. And I believe if we go to the next page, uh, let's see, Class F. There it is, Team Snow Search, first place, Class F, 1995. And uh, anyway, what I want to do is Okay, we have new people on the boat. There's like 10 of us on a boat. We got two boats. We want to have everybody packing lightly, not heavily, and know how to pack. And so I'm just going to kind of run through how I pack and how I organize myself. I love jumbo bags. These are jumbo bags. And um, I have, okay, synthetic shoes, synthetic shoes. I can race or sail in these things. They're fine. They're not expensive. And in case these get sopping wet on Friday, then I can wear these on Saturday and let these dry and vice versa synthetic socks they dry my shirts this is all the shirts i bring this is my favorite shirt it's newport to bermuda 2012 that's the famous year of all newport to bermuda races because it blew 35 knots from the northeast for 550 straight miles including crossing the gulf stream where the wind was blowing against the waves and it got pretty cool crossing the gulf stream and um okay anyways got another shirt like that then i got three black synthetic t-shirts it's all synthetic so i can hand wash them on this kind of a trip. If they get spilt food and that kind of thing, well, nobody really notices because they're black. So that's another kind of thing why I like to wear black. You can get messy on noon, at midnight on Saturday after the Figawi race and nobody notices. And then you can hand wash them the next day and put them out on the lifeline and they dry out. So this is, um, this, that's a nautical skill set. Um, all the shirts in one of the bags. I have um, done, not done this yet, but I'll take a black magic marker and I'll label the bags. And let's go to here. Okay, one pair of workout shorts. I'll work out a couple times. Uh, I don't know, maybe five, six pairs of synthetic underwear because I can wash them and they dry. Uh, this is sort of like a mountain type pant where the knees um, zip off so the lower part of your legs come off and they become shorts. Same thing, this stuff, it's not cotton. It dries really quickly. Moving on here, this is 19, or this is 2009, we won the, new, we won the uh, Figari race, pretty cool, we got 30 knots, really blew hard, knocked over a lot of boats, not us, we know how to handle that stuff extraordinarily well. The, we want the wind to be not enough so they cancel the race, but getting up close to it because that's where we dominate, we do really well in those kinds of conditions. We have some secrets in those kinds of conditions. And uh, we race we race really well, plus the handicap's good for the boat. Um, if it's really light air, the handicap um, is, is, is absolutely incorrect. It doesn't work in light air. So anyways, okay, got a Vineyard Vines fleece. Okay, so that's warm, and it dries. This is like a sailing material vest. It dries, it's not cotton. This is a vest. Um, it's thick, it's fleece, it's synthetic, it dries. If you get a fire on the boat, you know what you got to do? Take all your clothes off because if you're wearing synthetic, it melts to your body. It's bad. So if you get in a really big fire, first thing you do is get naked. And um, if you have cotton and there's a real big fire, cotton just kind of burns off. It doesn't melt to your body. But, you know, sailing type stuff, you want stuff to dry so you don't bring cotton. So that's a safety precaution. Big fires, get naked. Okay, um, let's see here. Kids 50 sunblock. It's the best. Get the best. Put a piece of black um, duct tape around it so if this thing gets squashed. You know, it doesn't squirt out all over your clothes. It could get squashed even when the way they handle luggage these days in airports when they throw them on the planes. Okay, toll tree bag. Um, you know, a lot of this extra stuff, I have extra pair of sunglasses and things in here. I just put them in this bag so I can pull it out and I can see everything because it's clear. But then there's my toothbrush, underarm deodorant toothpaste, that kind of stuff. So I yank that out, and then, you know, I have everything. Okay, let's continue on. Um, let's get more into the racing thing, I guess. Okay, I bring two pair of racing sail, or, or sail gloves because these get soaked on Friday, then I got these on Saturday while the other one's dry. Synthetic hat, synthetic pullover hat. I never wear it. I always let somebody else use it. 
Um, but, you know, it's synthetic, so it dries. Um, Haley Hansen, you know, overalls, they're a pretty good pair. They're, you know, it's not like, you, know, you, you don't do the Volvo race in them, but pretty good. Um, you know, good, good for, um, you know, not too far offshore stuff. And I hardly ever wear them, but in case I do, I wear them. I have the time I put, put them on somebody else. Um, at a task ski ticket, that brings me good luck. That's been attached to those since, I don't know, 2013 or something like that. And so I am not going to remove that until something tears it off itself. Um, this is a good fall weather gear coat. It's medium. It's good for Newport to Bermuda. It's not, it's not enough for, you know, you know, racing from one continent to another. I never end up wearing it because um, I'm fine with that stuff. And I usually let somebody borrow that. Uh, let's see. Get to go to the Fagawi Ball this year. So some tuxedo stuff. Boots. Some cowboy boots. I'm bringing them because Ed Connolly, who came with us in 1996 and showed up in a pair of cowboy boots, walking down the docks in his jeans and jean coat and all that stuff, and walks up to us, and Paul Tatro goes to Ed, and he did had no clue who he was, and he just looks at Ed, and he goes, you must be a friend of Bob Solomon's. And so, Ed, since you're going, for the first time in 20 years, bring your boots, because I'm going to bring the boots, and then we'll walk down the Hannah Shot Club dock together in cowboy boots and jeans and that sort of thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, speaking of jeans, yeah, two pair of jeans. Uh, Newport to Bermuda belt brings good luck. But don't wear that on a Sunday in a sports bar because when you're up getting a really cold IPA, people tend to look at that belt and everybody thinks they're looking at your rear end and they're not. They're looking at your belt. Okay, if the girls are looking at your so-called rear end, but not when a bunch of guys start doing it. So don't, don't wear that on Sunday in sports bars. Um, let's see here. Okay, we got that. Oh, race day. Okay, race day. Uh, these are the two very special shirts. This is the 103rd running of the um, Chicago Mac race. We were five miles. We're on blue chip. We're five miles from um, this boat where two people got killed because about the worst of the worst of the worst that ever crossed Lake Michigan just happened to cross Lake Michigan. And it was in certain spots blowing over 100 miles an hour. And it was a real tragedy. So this thing reminds me of safety. Plus, this is the coolest synthetic shirt they make. It's the coolest material they make. But this one reminds me of safety. So I put that on first. And then I wear my We the People. It has the entire constitution on the shirt. It's a big, long shirt. And that's usually what I wear is the entire race. Very rarely do I put on that coat or a foul weather gear coat. Everybody else is bundled up. But my adrenaline energy is so high. I just, that's all I wear. Okay, now speaking of like trying to stay warm and things... Um, um, speaking of staying warm and things, here, here's a, the extended forecast, 62 degrees high, 50 at night, hopefully on race day, like I was telling you about this coat, we're going to get 30 knots from the south or better from the southwest, better even from the west, but if we get that 30 knots and it's kind of coming from the south, the entire race, you are going to feel 45 miles an hour on you, and you are going to be on the rail of the boat, and nobody's allowed to go underneath, below the deck. It's only, it's only three or four hours. You'll stick it out. So you may want to consider that if we can get that kind of condition. But right now, the, um, the, the extended forecast is 62 degrees at night, Nantucket, guaranteed sunshine during the weekend, you know, 50, I'm sorry, 62 degrees during the day, 50 at night. Um, this, you know, I, I carry this kind of separately, GPS, floating walkie-talkie, waterproof, because I'm taking that jet ski to Nantucket this week. And um, so I'll, I'll just have that and that, maybe some other safety equipment. Now, all of these things, all of these bags, the reason why I like to put them in here, and incidentally, I'll take a black magic marker, and I'll label each one of the bags. The reason why I like to do that, because I've done a couple of Newport to Bermuda races, and when you do that, and it's gnarly weather in the ocean, really bad, I mean, it's rough, and you just came off your four-hour watch, so you're going to get four hours of sleep. Then you're going to have to get up and do another four-hour watch again and sail the boat. Um, these are in bags, so if they're all in a luggage bag, it's very easy to find things. And so that's why I do that. And so if everybody does wants to do this kind of thing that's staying on the boat, um, we'll all be more organized. We'll have a much nicer experience drinking Pinot Grigio at night after a nice dinner. Okay, now, um, this is a great bag. This is a great bag. Almost everything fits in this bag. And I'll tell you why it's a great bag. Because it's also a backpack, but it's like a duffel bag. So that's a great bag. If you want to have something on wheels that you can tote on the airport, well, this isn't bad because it collapses. So once you, um, if you're staying on the boat, once you take everything off and 
put, um, you know, put things away in cabinets, this collapses. If you bring a suitcase, the suitcase doesn't collapse. It takes up volume. So don't bring, try not to bring suitcases. Try to bring, you know, duffel bags. If you have a bad back, bring something with wheels. Don't hurt your back. And let's see, that's, um, that's really, that's it. Um, yeah, we're psyched. We're psyched, boy. We got two beautiful boats and incredible people. We're bringing wounded vets with us and we're going to do, uh, you know, honor somebody very special and, uh, you know, a veteran that, you know, passed, you know, when he was young. And so that's it. Good night. It's about 1.30 in the morning on Monday night. And then there's the next Monday and then next Wednesday we get the boat. Good night.